Okay, so now we've covered all the nonpolar amino acids. Now let's start looking at the polar amino acids. So we're going to start with this set. So we have, for polar, we have two sets that we need to think about. So they're non-charged polar amino acids, and they're charged polar amino acids. So the charge means we can carry uh, on the side chain, right, some sort of plus or minus charge on them. And that's going to depend on the functional groups that are on these. Uh, are on these. So let's go through these four because they line up fairly nicely. So the first one I'm going to look at, I'm going to draw and then look at alpha amine, alpha carboxylate, right? Stereochemistry on the alpha carbon. All right, this is called, this has a carboxylate functional group on it with one carbon in between, and this is called aspartate. or aspartic acid. It's another common name you might see for this. Three-letter code for this is ASP. One-letter code is, sorry, D. All right, and very similar in structure to this. So an important thing to remember is that this can carry a negative charge on the side chain. And we're going to see this uh, and its cousin amino acid a lot. And so speaking of the cousin amino acid, let's draw it down. So this is Our charges on here, alpha amine, alpha carboxylate, stereochemistry. So now this one has one, two carbons in between, and then it ends also in a carboxylate. So this one is called glutamate. The three letter code is GLU. And the one letter code is E. Okay, so aspartate and glutamate. Very similar instruction, uh, structure. They both have uh, carboxylate side groups. Uh, there's just one additional um, carbon on the side chain of the glutamate. And the way I remember this is that E comes after D, uh, if you do by the one letter codes, or you can even think uh, glue comes after ASP alphabetically. Um, and so this one has one more carbon, okay? So these also have corresponding non-charged uh, side chains, and so that's why I'm going to group them together. So this next one looks very similar in structure to glutamate. So again, our standard structure, and then we have a bend, but here we start as if we're going to look like let me move that out of the way. Non-charged. We start as if we're going to look like we're going to draw um, aspartate again, but instead of this being a carboxylic acid, it's an amide functional group. And so this has a similar name to aspartate. This is called a spare a gene, so a spare gene, okay? And this has a similar three-letter code as aspartate 2, where it's A-S-N, and the one-letter code is N. And so, what's probably the fourth one? That's right. It's going to be in similar structure of glutamate, except it's going to have this amide. So, NH3 plus alpha carbon carboxylate, all right, now one, two carbons here, and then, all right, and this one, in a similar fashion as aspartate and asparagine, is called glutamine. Three letter code is GLN, the one letter code is Q. 
Okay? And so these are our first four uh, polar amino acids.